Hello YouTube, it's Zero here and I'm bringing you another video. So today I'm going to teach you a little trick that you can do with Windows Movie Maker to output video at 4K 60 frames per second. So let's get started. So what you do is you're going to open up Windows Movie Maker and you're going to want to create a new... Uh, actually first let's import a video into here. So I have some Halo 5 footage that I captured right here. So it's preparing the file. So now you're probably thinking why would you want to upload in 4K? Um, let's say you know you capture some video using like an Xbox DVR or uh, Nvidia Shadow Play. I mean when you capture that video it might be in 1080p 60fps but for uh, non-YouTube partners or even if you are partnered you know 1080p video isn't it doesn't have the best uh, bit rate on YouTube. So even though you know the video looks nice and crisp, uh, when you when you're looking at the raw file, when you upload it to YouTube, you know the bit rate goes down and it doesn't look as good. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to upscale that 1080p 60fps video to 4K, and it's going to retain more uh, visual clarity when you upload it as a 4K. So here's our file. Let's trim it down a bit. I'm going to trim it down to about a minute. Let's see. Okay. So split, delete. I'm just going to get it down to exactly a minute. Okay. Come on. There you go, exactly a minute. So now we have our minute of video right here. So our next step is we're going to go to File and we're going to go to Save Movie. And these are all the setting or presets right here to save video. But we're going to go down and create a custom setting. So we're going to call this uh, 4K. 4, 4K, there you go. So um, as you can see, the maximum uh, width and height we can put is 1920 by 1080, and that's 1080p. And maximum bitrate, we're just going to put that up at the highest value. Uh, yeah, there we go. And frame rate, 60. So uh, in Windows Movie Maker, you know, when you're creating your custom setting, you could only put 1920 by 1080, but there is a way to hack uh, into, well not hack, but uh, modify the the settings, uh, the file settings when you save this output right here. So we're going to save and OK. So this is the file name right here and we're going to save it. OK, cool. So we're going to close this and now we're going to go back to where the file saved. Uh, here's the file path right here. So you go to users, uh, whatever your username is, app data, local, Microsoft, Windows Live, video profiles. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this video profile. And this is it right here. This is all the random stuff in there. And what we're going to find is uh, the video settings or uh, the resolution uh, values. So right here where it says uh, low 32, let me see if I could make this bigger. Format. Font. Okay, cool. So where is it? Ah, right here. So these are our resolution settings right here. So we see 1080 by 1920. So we're gonna have to fix these right here to uh, or set them to uh, the resolution of 4k so the resolution of 4k is uh, oh well let's see is 2560 by uh, 3820 I believe that's the correct resolution let me double check on that So 21, actually no, my bad. 
it is 21 2160 by 3840 there you go so this is the correct resolution for 4k 2160 by uh, 3840 or 2160p and we're just going to save this right here so save cool and now we're going to go to save movie and we're just going to call this 4k or 4k video and it is going to save as mp4 uh, make sure you're updated to the latest Windows anniversary or Windows 10 anniversary update because before it wouldn't work but for some reason now it is working to output as a mp4 format and YouTube uh, prefers mp4 uh, format when you're uploading I used to do it with the Windows media video file it worked one time when uploading uh, to YouTube as 4k 60 FPS but after that it stopped working but ever since I started a uh, doing the videos as mp4 or 4k mp4 video files uh, it's been working for me so I'm gonna start this countdown right here and we're gonna see how long it takes so again just to recap uh, you know the video file that I just uh, imported into Windows Movie Maker that was about 1080p 60 FPS at a 50,000 uh, kilobytes per second bitrate and even though um, we're going to upscale that to 4K, uh, 60 FPS at a 100, 135,000 uh, bitrate, and it should retain more quality when we upload it to YouTube, especially when YouTube uh, makes it uh, into 4K, 60 FPS as an option. And as you can see, we're half more than halfway done it's already been about a minute or so give or take a few seconds I was a bit late in starting this t countdown timer right here almost done and the footage that I have is from the Halo 5 uh, Windows 10 version or yeah Windows 10 version it's great I'm actually playing Halo again you've been on a, a bit of a hiatus from Halo 5 I've been playing Halo online, but uh, I have to say Halo 5 on PC is actually pretty fun. All they have to do is just, they have to fix a few things. It's not complete yet, but I've been having fun. So there we go. We're done. And the time... Oh, we'll just open the folder. Okay. So how long did that take us? That took us... Oh, whoops. So uh, was that about 3.30, so about a minute and a half for a minute video of 4K. So I have like an i7 processor, i7 of 4770K. So that's a really strong processor. Uh, if you have a lower processor than that, like an i5, i3, or AMD processor, then it might take you longer to uh, render that video because uh, 4K takes a lot of uh, processing power to render. And Windows Movie Maker doesn't have any uh, GPU accelerator, not that I know of. So it's all CPU work, and actually, you know, I, I did check in the task manager. The CPU usage was pretty high for uh, Windows Movie Maker, so it is probably just using CPU and encoding. So depending on your CPU, it's going to take a certain amount of time. But with an i7 uh, processor on my end here, it's going to take about for every minute of video, it's going to take one minute and thirty seconds to render that. So let's look in the properties of our video here. So we go to properties. And this is the video that we just outputted. So at one minute, uh, it's nearly a gigabyte of information here. And we're going to go down to details. And as you can see right here, it says uh, length, about a minute, and frame width, 3840, frame height, 2160. So that's 4K. It is in 4K. Then we see the bit rate is high, and the frame rate is 60 frames per second. So this video is good to go. Let's open it up. Yep. So the things you can do in Halo 5, absolutely amazing. Especially when you put it on PC, that was a very overpowered uh, weapon modification right there. 
but yeah so when I upload this video to YouTube it should be in uh, 4k 60 FPS and it should retain more of its uh, visual clarity than just viewing it in 1080p 60 frames per second so that's all I have for you guys today and thanks for watching see you on the digital battlefield